Well, we, we have a paper on that that we published several years ago. And um, I think there's uh, two conceptual approaches. Uh, one would be to uh, find a drug that binds directly to disordered regions. Um, I didn't think this would be possible when I was thinking about the problem, and it turns out people have found such molecules. And I'm stunned by this development, and I hope it goes forward and, 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 and lends itself to, to productive uh, drug molecules in the future. Uh, the approach that I felt was going to be uh, one that would be likely to work was the fact that many of these uh, disordered regions of proteins bind to structured protein partners and the structured partners often have cavities uh, that are the binding site of the disordered proteins and a structured protein with a cavity is what we've been using for all our lives to make drugs against proteins and so it was just a matter of finding uh, an interaction between a disordered protein and a, uh, a the binding partner uh, th where the, bio the desired biological effect would be to disrupt that interaction. Uh, and then I think you have a good potential for uh, finding a drug target. There are in fact drugs doing this uh, that are under investigation. Uh, there are in fact drugs that do this that are on the market. For example, I take a blood pressure medicine and it blocks the interaction between a disordered peptide and a receptor, and that helps keep my blood pressure down, right? So I think this, this approach already works, uh, and I think it's just a matter of it doing the biology to identify uh, which disordered regions interacting with which partners would be a benefit to block those interactions. Uh, and then we have a, a, a good chance. Now, there's another variation of that, and it could be that someone has an interaction that's too weak, and I think in some cases it'll be possible to find drugs that will stabilize the interaction, uh, and in those cases um, it will, it'll be possible again to, to, to find drugs that would stabilize some of these interactions and therefore lead to drug molecules. But I think uh, all three of these ways, drugs that bind directly to disordered proteins, drugs that stabilize an interaction between a structured protein and a, and a disordered protein, and drugs that block the interactions between a structured protein and a disordered protein. I think all of three of these have potential. And we'll see over the next 10 years whether, whether or maybe 20, <laughs> whether these things uh, come to pass.